had this experience where I just remembered uh, a friend of mine and she, it was actually a really close friend of mine, his ex-girlfriend. And she was going through a rough trot and all this sort of stuff. And it was about six months ago. And I just had this extreme sense of guilt rush over me. And it came back to me that she had reached out to me on Facebook, you know, asking for some help because she was struggling. But because I was kind of sided with my friend, I just disregarded her. And because my mind was so busy in that time with social media and all that sort of stuff, six months later, that float tank was that first time that I'd, my mind had kind of come back to that experience and, and forced me to feel the guilt that I'd clearly, uh, you know, suppress. And I felt this guilt for like 10 minutes and then I came out of it and I was like, man, I've, I've really got to respond to that message. And we ended up having a, a coffee together. It was really good, but it's just crazy how like you might say something, I oh, just float tanks are so good for decluttering the mind but on a really practical standpoint, like that shit can stay in there for so long if we're not careful. 100%. 100%. And it's like it can only go away once you find stillness. It doesn't matter if it's a tank or your day-to-day stuff. Till you find stillness, it stays there. It doesn't go away. Mm-hmm. And it keeps like accumulating over time. And that's how people start forming these ideas about, you know, how it should be and their whole – everything about them is that aspect of not able to clear it out. It's kind of Mm. crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable how much those things affect you. You know, how much, how much Mm. the things that you don't even know or remember are actually affecting you in the, in the real time. And Mm. you said something on our first show, I was asking you, I think about excavating the unconscious, going back into the past and trying to resolve some of the trauma. And you were really adamant about this idea that all you need is just your awareness could you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, that's, so that's so I see a lot of people nowadays with say any sort of therapy or any sort of healing modality, they want to go and work on their childhood on their past events so that they can have a good present and then live a good future. Mm-hmm. That idea just because everyone's doing it, I don't think it's right in the sense that it doesn't fit my logic. It doesn't fit the way I see the world. Now, what do I mean by that? For example, we all know at some to some level that um, past influences your present and your future. This is a firm belief that we all live with, but there is no way you can like really put your finger on it because what I do today is going to influence the past automatically. You know, like, Obviously, our hero, Alan Watts, talks about it, where he's like, the bark of a tree, the bark of a dog. By changing the future word, I've changed the whole meaning of the sentence. Right. So the moment you give your past the power to influence your present, it's going to do it. Mm. And the moment you look back and you say, okay, I need to fix something or heal some part of me, there are three things that happen. The first thing is realize that the universe is a vibration. It's an up and a down that come together. So, and when an event takes place, it comes with the both positive and the negative. So perceive positive and negative together. So if you go and fix something in your past, you remove the positive along with it. It's gone. Mm -hmm. What your, your unique, whatever the unique nature of you is, it's gone with that. Secondly, do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? It's like the whole idea that if I was, for example, when I was in the States, I got beaten up and put in lockers and all that. But now I have a different respect for people who go through that. If I remove that experience, I won't have this compassion towards other people. So obviously I'm going to be someone else. Yes. You can't separate the two. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.